What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Rich Nice back once again. So today uh, we're back in the shop, back on the C10 project as usual. Uh, it's starting to actually look like an engine now. We got our drive shaft back in. We got our headers on along with our oxygen sensors. Uh, we got new coil plugs. We got a new radiator. We got electric fans. We painted our uh, core support because it was just rusty and it just we just painted it black. Uh, we still have to put a overflow bottle on this nipple right here. This is our steam valve, which we don't have to worry about, or steam nipple, or whatever you want to call it, uh, for the uh, water pump. So we still have to hook up our heater core now we can bypass this and just get a uh, line that loops around just like this and that'll be bypassed um, we got our transmission dipstick in we actually have our transmission lines in they're still braided I still gotta secure them somehow uh, but they go through the frame and they come out and they come up here and they go into our actual uh, radiator so it's coming along we're making progress so but today's video is we're working on the cab we got a brand new floor uh over here as you can see this one is just it's just easier to replace the whole floor so in this box is our new floor uh there are spot welds all along this pinch well right here so i'll get those ground down and we'll use a spot wheel cutter along here too uh, to get those. And then in the back, we'll have spot wheels that go across here. And then down like this. As you can see, it's already broke because that's where the floor is on the inside and it's already separated. So uh, it shouldn't be too hard to get this thing cut out. Uh, but I'll get set up. And while I do that, y'all go ahead and watch this intro. YouTube, I ground this down so you can actually see here, here, here where all the spot welds are. So we can use a center punch to do these, uh, which we'll probably do. And then we'll get a spot weld cutter. Uh, so let me find it because I know it's around here somewhere and I'll be back. We, I found my spot weld cutter finally. Uh, it's a 3 8 double sided uh, rotary spot weld cutter. I think I got it from uh, Harbor Freight, yes, Chicago Electric. Uh, so basically, you just put this in your drill, and those uh, pilot, I use my uh, punch to uh, put center holes in all the spot welds, and then we'll just use this to get it ground out.
I was taking a little longer with the uh, spot well cutter, but I did go get another drill bit that I had broke. Uh, and once you drill through the first layer before you actually get to the floor, you'll hear it pop out. And that's when you know that you've uh, cut the spot well. We got our spot wells cut out um if you punch through these it's okay uh since we're replacing our whole floor it's just gonna be the floor on the other side that will give us something to spill this spot well back in with um as you can see it's all dry rotted down here and we gotta replace this cab corner anyway so uh i will go up to the front and we'll start working on the front Start cutting the floor up uh, so I'll get prepped up uh, and we'll start cutting some metal.
All right, YouTube, we got the floor, the middle cut out at least. So now we'll get this middle piece out and go from there.